Hey you guys, so last night it was below freezing and this morning the school districts decided to have a two hour delay start because I guess they didn't want the little kitties to get on the bus and have the bus tires to slip on some ice. I don't know, but anyways, it's been freezing for like the past two days. Now the thing about this is that next week it's going to be like in the 80s. I don't understand that. that. I guess that's what you get living in the South. But anyways, for a person like me who's sensitive to weather, it's not good because I get really, really sick. Like, really, really sick. Hi, you guys. So, as you can probably tell, I'm not like in the best of moods. Right now, I'm like really under the weather, like I don't know what I have. I work with children all day, so who knows, I couldn't have gotten something, picked something up from them, but I feel horrible, like I have a dizzy head, I'm freezing, this is why I'm drinking my lemon water honey tea right here, and it's really good and yummy, and I have my boyfriend's cardigan on because it keeps me warm, and it reminds me of him. But um, I just feel really, really horrible. Like, I don't understand what's wrong. Like, I'm sick and I just feel like I'm going to throw up. But anyways, with that being said and done, I didn't feel like doing my hair this morning. I did not feel like even putting effort. This is why I didn't even have any makeup on because usually I try to do a little something, something. To make myself a little presentable, I want to wear a little uh, concealer under my eyes. I didn't even put concealer under my eyes. You know, I have like horrible bags, you guys. Horrible bags. So I didn't even put earrings on. Well, besides my industrial bar, but that's always going to be in there. But I didn't even put earrings on. You know, I, I didn't even feel like doing anything if I didn't put earrings on. But anyways, I didn't feel like doing my hair. So, well, I didn't feel like doing my hair, and I'm getting really, really, really fed up and tired. Sick and tired of wearing this RPG show wig. I love it. I swear by it. But after, like, wearing it for oh, almost, like, nine months or ten months, you get tired of it. And I've styled it every kind of style, any possible kind of style you can think of. And it was cute, it was functional, it was nice, but I'm just getting tired of it. I want something different, something new. So when I woke up this morning, I decided that, oh, I want to wear my real hair out. My natural hair, because I'm tired of this wig. I'm just want to change stuff up, want to get something new. Well, I decided to do that with my natural hair out. Then I realized, I can't do that. Because I'm transitioning. Yes, I'm transitioning. I have two different textures. This is not going to work unless I'm going to flat on my hair, which the hell will take an all day process. And I don't want to do that anyways because I don't want to damage my curls. I don't want to have heat damage. So I was just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with my hair? I already don't feel like going to work. I feel like being a bum, just staying in bed. I don't want to do my hair. What am I going to do? So I just threw this bad boy on, threw this into like a little braid if you want to call it i don't know i started twisting and braiding i don't know what this is right here i, I, I don't know what this is put it in a ponytail and slap my little kofi on and told god what thank you and this is how i look exactly i was bumming it today at work my students like miss webb you look bad and i was like yes i know i know but anyways, with that being said and done, I'm tired of the two different hair textures that I have currently right now. My relaxed ends and my natural, wonderful, luscious curls. Okay, well, it's not really curls yet. It's kind of like crinkles. But anyways, I'm tired of it. So, I'm telling you guys <clears throat> that come January 18th, I will be doing the big chop. I'll be cutting off my relaxed ends. Woo! Finally having one texture of hair on my head thank you jesus but yes i only have one texture finally so i would like you guys to stay tuned and watch my big chop video on january 18th and the reason why i'm choosing january 18th because you like her well if you're so tired of having two textures why don't you just cut it well like i said i was transitioning i wanted my hair to be a certain length before i did the big chop because i didn't want to be bald but um yeah, and January 18th, I am 18th is my favorite number, and I was born on June 18th. Mark that in your calendars. I was born on June 18th, and so when my birthday come this year, I want it to be like a mile marker. So that would be approximately six months um, that I've been natural. So 
um, I thought I should just cut it on January 18th. So, yes, stay tuned. Watch my Big Chop video January 18th. I will be posting a video. I don't know, you guys. I'm thinking about getting a fade. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below in the description thing. Not the description, the comment area, you guys. I'm so out of it. I need to take some night cool and go to sleep. But yeah, tell me what you think. Should I get a fade? Because I saw this really, really kick behind. I'm not going to say the word. This really, really bad behind woman in the mall. And she had a fade. And she was so gorgeous. And the thing about it, she was so feminine with it. And she didn't look butch or anything. You could tell that she was a female. And she liked the male, you know she like me but I saw that and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna cut my hair just like that but anyways so leave a comment down below whether or not I should get a fade and yeah stay tuned to January 18th for my big chop video yes yeah and I'm gonna take some night cool right now Mwah. bye you guys check out my video on how I spent my New Year's Eve and my New Year's Day also comment like and subscribe down below